Hello, it's Aga from Marvis Artist. Today I take my first look at the new V-Ray update. I'm pretty excited. What about you? Let's begin. Today I want to test things related to the image rendering. I'll be using the free Evermotion scene. You can find this one on their website in the free production section. They say that you can add multiple dome lights at the same time, which means that you can render one image and have a couple of different lighting variations. Let's test it. So basically, we need to create V-Ray light. Choose dome type. And choose V-Ray bitmap as a map. And now we need to choose the HDRI we want. I prepared two. The first one will be a daylight with clouds. And we can rename it to make it easy to find in light mix later on. Okay, now let's copy the light. Remember to change it to copy and let's name it sunset for instance, as this is my second choice. Let's replace them up here. And I choose another one I've prepared before. But this is not enough to make it work. We need to add the light mix render element. Go to Render Setup, Render Elements, add and choose Very Light Mix. Thanks to this, we'll be able to actually have an option to use Light Mix. And we can start rendering the image. I'm so curious about the results. Are you as well? Let's see what we can do. Okay, so let's turn on the first option, Daily Clouds. We can adjust it now. So basically, it works as previously. You can control the intensity of the light. You can compose the image with different layer masks. And also, you can change the color. So, nothing new here. But let's see if we can see another dome light. Here it is. We can even mix them together. Definitely not the greatest idea here. So, it basically works as another layer of lights. It's pretty cool, as we can render one image and make a few lighting scenarios of this image by adjusting certain values and colors. This is a pretty cool option. I imagine that it can make the whole process of creating images much faster. We can use it, for example, to help our client and show him different lighting scenarios. Pretty cool option. I really like this improvement. This one is something what really intrigues me, as it means that using additional 2D graphics software may be not needed anymore. Let's see. So first of all, we need to add some mask layer element to test the possibilities. I use Cryptomate, but this option works also with Multimate, Wire Color and Object to Render Material IDs. You need to remember that Cryptomate doesn't work with the progressive image sampler, we need to change it to Bucket. Ok, now we're ready to render. This one is the most exciting for me. What about you? Ok, so here is the rendered image. Let me do some quick adjustments here. Let's start with the curves layer. Let's make it more contrasty. Okay, we can add another curves layer and now we can add the crypto mask by clicking here. These options are available only after the render is finished. Anyway, we can click here to add the objects we want from the mask. To make it easier to see what we've picked, we can use show preview when selected. Here we go. Awesome, isn't it? We can use this option to remove objects from the selection. Or we can select it from the list and click minus. We can go back to the properties and you can see that it works only on the layers we chose. That's truly remarkable. I'm so impressed. Mm -hmm. 
that works pretty great. This is super cool. We can add another layer and create masking again. If we decided that the mask doesn't work somewhere, we can simply go back to masking and remove it from the list. Super easy. So basically, from one image we can have not only a few lighting scenarios, but also totally different atmospheres and options. I cannot believe I see it, that's pretty cool. This is a big step forward. Really great job. This one is maybe not as cool as others, but definitely can help with the workflow. Let me show you. So we can find these options in Render Setup. Go to the Viewer tab and choose Global Switches. Here you will find the Override Material option. We need to check it. We can choose Standard Viewer Material. This is nothing new, but let's click here. You can see that we have new options. Bump refractions, opacity and self-illumination. I choose bump and refractions. So for sure we should have the glass material excluded from override and the bump should be visible for instance on this tree trunk. To make the render quicker I set the region so only this part I choose will render. Okay, we don't need more. I render it as a test final because I want to show you the bump more clearly. It will be hard to see the bump in the interactive rendering. Well, we can see that glass is excluded, that's great. And also, if we bring closer the image, you can see that the bump map works on the material as well. That's cool, it can definitely help with the workflow. They also added the Chaos Cosmos, which is a library with high-quality 3D assets for interiors and exteriors. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do an extra video about this, as it sounds really great. Except of that, they also added other improvements, like progressive caustics or new V-Ray transparency material and so on. I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching, also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!